What is up everybody on YouTube? Welcome back to another exciting adventure on Melissa's Outdoors again today. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, you can hear them cicadas, boy. In the background, they, ha! Ah! Them jerkers is out in full force today, let me tell you. Hear him? When all of them get together, they make this cool sounding, extremely loud noise. But, I'm enough about the cicadas. We are headed down to a cool little place. It is just a little tiny little creek off from a wet weather hole that I like to come back fish every now and then. And I have got some little teeny tiny, these are little crappy magnets right here on a 164th ounce jig head on my little ultralight rod set up here. We're gonna go back and shoot this little bit of creek. See if we can get y'all some action on here. And also brought the brought the bush axe slash protection because there's a few unsavory characters out here. We run into the occasional wild hog and alligator that thinks that he would rather have us for dinner. So let's get down here to this place. Show y'all this beautiful little offshoot creek. And this one as you can hear is right next to a road. Look at that, look at that. They're already starting to scatter a little bit. There's already some good fish action up in here. So we're gonna try to slide up in here, put y'all some on the line. And in these places, this water's so clear. I just try to sneak up in here, not to cause too much alarm. And watch out for water moccasins, cause man, I always see a few of them while I'm back here. Just taking my time watching my feet because, like I said, there's always water moccasins and alligators back here somewhere. What I'm going to do is just kind of shoot this little area around these bushes over here in these dark corners. And just see if anything will come out and bust it. I come down here last week and caught some horse size bremises. We got little things sinking so slow. And the first cast I'm hung. Great. Not the greatest first cast in the world, but I see a pretty cool looking turtle. A cute little turtle over there. All right, glad we brought pliers because we're gonna have to we're gonna have to rebend him back in a little bit. No, he actually looks like he didn't get bent. All right, good. Good, good, good. Probably should have made this thing weedless, but you know, shoot him over there away from that old nastiness uh oh something's already biting him see the line thumping get him boy gotcha oh yeah look at that joker right there that is a drag singer look at that joker right there first good cast on a big old fat sunny look at that thing look at that joker right there with that big old pretty pink bug in his mouth first cast how big that thing is compared to my hand. My friend, that is lunch right there all day long, no matter how you stack it. Look at that beautiful joker right there. One big old pretty, pretty, pretty sunfish. Ah! And he goes back. Later, homie. Have fun, enjoy life. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Like I said, there is always some good fish back here in these little brooks little places like this right here all back up in here these little calm waters all this little riffraff rock stuff like that man a lot of times they contain some huge brim and i've even caught some pretty good sized bass up to about three pounds out of this little place back here goofing around so let's get back and put y'all some more on the line Ooh, Lord, look at all this old riffraff down here we done headed to another spot it is still kind of overcast out here today we're going to head down here and flip around for a few minutes and try not to get snake bit. Because this is the place and they love all this mess. Got to be careful going down through here too. As you can see, some of these old boulders ain't the snuggest in there. It's a pretty cool place back up in here. Like looking at these tubes, that way you don't get ambushed by no alligator or nothing. 
little fish is already starting to pop tops of the water a little bit. And there's our buddy, the poison ivy. See right there. Leaves of three, old poison ivy. All right. Let's adjust it out here. Let's plop him out there, see what he'll get. Get him. Gotcha. I figured they'd be one big enough down there to get him eventually. Yeah. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty red breast. Look at that joker. How pretty he is. Love these things. They love these old bugs, too. Dinner of champions. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for making an appearance, buddy. Awesome. Love these little bugs. Doing the same thing, just get the old um, 164th ounce jig head, crappy stinger body. Showing it to them and let them get it. Things so fun to catch on these little jokers like this. These little beetle spins, all that good stuff. Just kind of move them along, give them a little wiggle on the tip. Not much, just enough, because that little wiggle on the tip is really all you need right here. One more time for the one time. Oh, he was already on it. Get it, boy, get it. Gotcha. Oh, he came off. That blame it. Felt like a pretty good one, too. Ugh. Look at this place out here. It's like a fisherman's paradise right here behind this dam. I love coming out here and fishing because you never know what you're going to catch. Anything from a 10 pound bass to a pickerel to a crappie to a gar to a brim. Either way, we fist to get down here and put y'all. So I got my. It's getting deep. It's getting deep, ladies and gentlemen. I got my waders on. Got my bucket hat on because my ears keep on getting burned. I can't stand for my ears to get burned. So I went and bought one of those old bucket, uh, bucket hat, boonie hat, whatever you want to call it. Oop, better be careful getting down here. Old bucket hat, boonie hat, whichever one y'all want to call it. But um, it's windy, these falls are gonna be loud. So hopefully y'all will be able to hear me over these falls. Got the same thing, tiny little lures. These jerks will catch everything. And um, let's get on wading out here and see if we put y'all some fish on the line. Wade out here in all this mess. I love these rocks, they're good to stand on. Whoop, sometimes you find a hole. I can find a couple of holes. Get on out here and get us a perch to perch up on. We're still fishing this Bobby Garland 164th ounce jig head with a little old pink body. I done caught so many fish, it's about to tear up. I'm gonna have to change it again. But um, let's get on out here and see if we can put y'all some more fish on the line. Flip right over in this little corner, see if there's anything waiting for it. A lot of times they'll be waiting in these little rapid corners. going down through there. He's on down through there. These old brim out here love to get right over where these rapids right here are coming and ambush things that are coming in, out of this water right here. A lot of times you just let it float over these rocks right here in these old eddies. There'll be one waiting for it. Get right over there in that little patch. Easy and easy and easy through here. Uh-oh. Got bumped. Breathing real, real slow. Ah, gotcha. Look at that, right there. First throw through there. Look at that big old pretty joker right there now. On the pink, pink, pink. Come here, baby. Let me get you off. Look what a beautiful, look what a beautiful specimen. Whoop. <laughs> we can grab hold to him. Get him by the lipper there. Look at that joker right there. Beautiful, that is a good eating size brim right there. Just scale him, cut the heads off, take out the entrails, and eat him whole. They love him so pink over here. What a beautiful fish, let's get him back. Later, Holmes. Gotcha. Look at there, look at there. What a big old, huge, beautiful warmouth. Ain't he enormous? 
we have moved to another spot and obviously there's some really good looking wannabe warmouth perch up under this bad boy. Look at that joker. Look at the mouth on that thing, how big it is. What you call a warmouth for such a little bitty fish. Look how big his mouth is. He is enormous. Well, not he is enormous, but his mouth is enormous. Say goodbye, buddy. Later, home slice. He's like, hey, you know, don't even bother him. He's still just sitting there. He's like, what just happened? And to end out this wonderful video, we are right back here where we started. And I think I see a big old brim right over there. Let's see if that is one. Yep, that's a big old brim right over there. If I can get it over there to him, let's see if he'll hit it. I bet he will if I can get it over there. There we go. There he goes. That's a bass. Brim, that's a pretty big old bass. So, let's put him over here. You know, put on that limb right there and see if anything will hit him. Oh, success! <laughs> I have one on there. Felt like a pretty good one too, but he dropped it. Let's get him back over there again. See if he's molding one right over there amongst all them jokers. Oh man, time it hit the water, it was already being bumped. There we go. Oh, got you that time, no big guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice one right there. Oh my goodness. What have we got? Woo we've got a nice one. That's old bass right there, look at that. And to end out the video, we have got us a nice old bass right here. He is trying his dang just to get me all in everything. Oh my goodness, dude, come on over here. If you'll come over here, I'll get you off and I'll put you back, I promise. But if you keep on straining my line, there ain't gonna be nothing we can do. That's how you just gotta, 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 gotta play these things sometimes. I knew when he hit it, I was like, man, that is one ferociousness of a brim, if that is a brim. Look at him right there with that big old pretty bug in his mouth. Look at that joker, that big old pretty. Sting with that old Bobby Garland jig head in his mouth. Ooh, yeah, that joker right there, that old thick mouth. Thank you, sir, for playing. Look, what a beautiful fish. Right here at the end of the video. Like I said, we are back here right where we started in these little places. I told y'all a lot of times in these waterways, especially like right now, once it's gotten high and we got a little bit of water, the e is gonna be deadly back here. Mm, thank you, sir. Thank you, baby. Go on back. Go on back and enjoy yourself. Enjoy, enjoy yourself. Mmm. Yeah. Look at that big old joker right there on that little old bitty, that little old bitty crappy stinger right there with a one. 64th ounce Bobby Garland jig head. And all I got on here is just some old four pound Mr. Crappy. No, that ain't Mr. Crappy. This is four pound vicious line on here. Held that big old joker. That bass was probably, I guess, made at least a pound or a little bit over. He's pretty good size one. He might've been the one we saw right over there and just moved over to the other side and hit it. Or there might've been multiple ones back here. I've seen it, this place back here before have four or five just really nice sizes back here. But either way, let's, uh, Let's get them back out and see if we can get something else. How about that? Even on this little old light line, you gotta play them just right. You can get it on up in there just right. You can nail some pretty good size ones. Let's see if he's old. Oh, I see a big old brim coming to that one. Let's see if he'll get it. Man, that was a big old brim. I can't believe he didn't get it as soon as it hit the water. This water back here is so clear. There we go, something's getting it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I figured you was the one that was coming over to get it. You was big old joker. Look at you, man. You a big, big old joker. That big old huge brim. I figured you was coming over here to get it. I mean, between them two fish right there, and look what a big old, what a big old massive brim. That joker about big as my hand, if not a little bigger with that pretty old pink bug in his mouth. Ooh, you get me, hoss. Gotta get your fins back down. Comb you back down that way and get you off. Look what a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous brim. Everything loves these little old crappy stingers and garland jig combinations. Come on, dude, can I have it back, please? Please? Ooh, you got old tough mouth. 
tough mouth joker. Oh, that gun. That big old pretty joker right there. We'll just put him back. Later, homie. He's like, whoa, I'm glad to be off that hook. Man. Man. Man, old oh man, these jokers so fun. This little, little bitty limber pole and Bobby Garland combo here. His old mouth was so tough, he might have been up my hook. Oh my God, look at that. He just he destroyed that little crappy stinger. I'll have to put me another one of them on there. He bent up the hook too. I'm gonna have to re-bend that hook out. Oh, let's uh, let's re-bend that hook out and put us another stinger on there. All right, we are back. Man, he had bent that thing all up, but we got it bent back out somewhat. And the hook still feels pretty doggone sharp. So we're gonna try to use it again. Got us another one of these little crappy stinger bodies on here. Let me pick up my pick up my fishy towel. Man, you can can you believe it? Two big old fish out of this one little bitty hole right here. Two nice fish too. Nice fish, nice fish out of this one little old bitty hole back here. Basically coming full circle to where we started at. Let's shoot this joker all the way way on back over there. So I know I saw it. There's that bass. He just went for it. He got it, got him. Oh, he got off. And he's a bunch of bass over there. Ain't just one bass. He's about four or five decent sized bass over there. And can I get it out of the tree? I need to bring my limb trimmer back here and get these jokers out of that limb because man, that bass hit it and he was gone, son. Right here next to the road. Funny thing is, is most people have no clue that this place is even back here. They pass by it all the time and nobody even knows where it's at. But when these fish back here, Man, it is on fire. There he goes. He got it. Got him. Got him again. Come on, baby. Good Lord, what we got? Is this a brass? Good Lord, that is a Goliath brim. Look at that big old thing. I kind of thought he was a bass when he come up and hit it. Look at that thing. Good Lord. Big old, big old shell cracker. See his ear right there? That's how one of the ways you know he's a shell cracker. Look at that big old shell cracker. Don't get your finger, I'm going to tell you a little tip now. Don't get your fingers too close to that shell cracker's mouth because that jerker will bite the doo-doo out of you. Look how big that shell cracker is. Man, that dude is big. That big old fat, thick shell cracker too. Look at him. We're going to put him back. Thank you for playing, darling. Oh, man. Where'd he go? He went straight back over that same place again. Man, I'm so dead blame excited. Tell you, like I tell you a lot of times when you find these little creeks back here, if the fish are in here, what them jokers in here? I could probably sit back here all day long with just this little jig and pull fish, pull bass, pull brim. It might even, I doubt there's a crappie in here, but there might be old catfish in here. Brim, bass, catfish, all of them in this one little place. Throw all up in them little drain pipes and stuff back there. Man, a bunch of them back here. And some big old, big old eating brim too, so. See if we can get us a couple of more online back here. Put y'all back up here. Let's get y'all on over here so y'all can see a little bit better. Get off in front of this bush. To kind of squat down here. I want to get him right over there. Right over there like that. That just screams there's going to be one waiting there. There he goes. Got him. Oh, yeah, that's a good one right there. Oh, yeah, that's another good one. Look at him. Ooh, 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 what variety are you? A big old nice sun fishery brim. Yeah, hold up, cuz. Big old beautiful. Look at that thing right there. Look at him, how pretty. All them pretty colors on him. It's a big old bluegill right there. Let me fold down him. Get this old buggy wug out your mouth here. Mm, thank you. All right. That big old dude right there. <gasps> Ay -ya! He just fanned me. Later, buddy. Good Lord. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I believe there's another one sitting right back there that might want to taste. So what I'm doing, I'm just reeling him real, real slow. I give him a little bump with the tip like that every now and then. That little tip makes that tail go crazy and they love seeing that old tail go crazy. Old 
tail going crazy kind of drives them crazy. All them folks passing by have no clue how good the fishing is down here. Oh, here we go. Already got another one. Yep. Oh, that's another good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen to that drag. Oh, baby. Listen to that drag. Oh, man. Look at these big old massive drag. Big old massive shell cracker right there. It's another big old shell cracker. He has got my number, too, with them fins up. Look at him. Thank you, sir. Man, I could have had me a good dinner by now. Big, whoop, there he goes. Big old beautiful shell cracker. Come on, dude. If you'll give me a chance, I'll help you in there. Ugh. I ain't letting you fin me, though. He's a little dirty now, but no worse for wear. See you, big guy. This joker is loaded with these things. Loaded, absolutely loaded. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming out today on another great adventure on Mullis's Outside again. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope y'all enjoyed seeing me get out doing some creek hopping today, because let me tell you, I love doing some creek hopping, especially when it gets so dead blame hot around here. Sometimes the creeks are about some of the only places you can catch some good fish, like you see we've done out here. It's some really nice ones, too. Them jerkers are like filet size brim, and some really good-looking bass, too. I wouldn't be surprised if we caught a really good looking catfish back here, but none yet. Like I said, we're just flipping with the little crappy stinger on a 164th jig head on this little ultralight combo. And man, I handle these things great. And let me tell you, they are so fun, so fun to get on this choker right here. It is like, like you're fighting for your life on these little bitty ultralight poles. If you hadn't ever done it, I suggest you really get out and try some ultralight fishing for like panfish, brim, crappy, all that good stuff like that. But like I said, I hope y'all had a great time today. And if y'all would please like and subscribe down below. That tree sounds like it's about to go. If you see anything that you like on these videos, I'll link it all down below on my Amazon affiliate link. So if y'all see something, I'd appreciate you pick up some, some of the Amazon merch from me. And uh, as always, y'all have a great day. And we'll see you on the next one on Mullis' Outside again. Later.